Brown's execution isn't going without protest. The Peace and Justice Action League in Spokane is one of several groups urging Governor Christine Gregoire to keep Brown alive tonight. KXLY 4's Annie Bishop is live at the courthouse. And there are about a dozen or so folks here peacefully protesting Cal Brown's execution. Their message tonight, they are against the death penalty. From the steps of Gonzaga to the Spokane County Courthouse, dozens of people by the soft glow of candlelight say a prayer for a convicted killer. And send this message to everyone else. We do not uh, agree with the idea that uh, killing anybody, uh, regardless of their crime, is uh, going to balance the scales of justice. I think any time that the state decides to make an execution, it's a very, very powerful statement. And the decision to take someone's life is a very big decision. And I think tonight just kind of shows that we are understanding the value of all life, especially in such a drastic circumstance. There is no question Cal Brown is a violent criminal, but how he is punished remains an intense debate, even in the last few minutes of his life. I do believe that it, the death penalty is immoral, um, it, that the state doesn't have the right to take a human life any more than any, any individual does. The Peace and Justice Action League of Spokane believes Brown's execution is unjust. The group wrote a letter to Governor Christine Gregoire urging her to intervene. She refused to grant clemency. And while the focus tonight is Brown's execution, they're also honoring his victim, Holly Washa. And members of Page Owls will continue to be here on the front steps of the county courthouse until they have received confirmation that Cal Brown has died. Reporting live, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News.